All right, with the code that we copied and placed into our JavaScript from the last video, we're now ready to then fire a completion or to trigger some code when an animation actually completes. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on this next line of code and we're gonna say, hey, section one, because section one has the animation, we're gonna say section one and then we're gonna use the jQuery one event. Now the one event is basically just listening for an animation. It's going to run this once and we're going to listen for an animation end, which that kind of ties into the code that we've done before we copied and pasted into our JavaScript. And then we're going to run a function. Now that function is basically going to be any name that you want. And so you can see comma remove any one and any one is essentially the, the function that I'm going to come up with. We're going to set up a, this event listener to listen for the animation. We're this, then going to create a completion function, and that function is going to have some code in there that will then remove the class when the animation actually completes. So after I've added the class, it's then going to remove the class, and I'm still going to have the toggle class in there. So then the toggle class basically just says, okay, is the class on there? No, then add it. If it is, then remove it. But it's not really going to remove it because we're going to do that with the animation completes. We're going to listen for the animation to complete, remove it, and the toggle class is just going to say, hey, well, you can go and add the class. So if you wanted to download the sample files, we're going to go ahead and be in section two. So open up the section two sample files and you can start from here. I'm going to go into my code and this code already has, if I go into the interaction.js, it already has the code that we copied and pasted from the last time. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add on an event listener right under section one. Now you can do this under section two, section three, if you want to keep it a little bit more organized. But I'm going to go ahead and have an event listener. We're going to listen for what events we're going to listen for the section. Make sure that is a dot there. We're going to listen for section one and we're going to use the one event basically just saying that this is going to run once and then we're going to say animation end that is the function that's up here when the animation ends it's going to run that function above and then we're going to say run the function which will be called remove any one and end that with a semicolon so now I need to create the function remove any one. I can do that right below here or I can do this outside of page loaded. However, I want to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and say function remove any one, open close parentheses, open close curly brackets, and there we go. I'm then going to come in here and let's just add on an alert just to make sure that this is working here. And so let's go back into our browser and see if this works. So the animation doesn't actually run until I click on the button here. But as soon as the button is clicked, the animation runs. As soon as the animation is done, it then runs this function. And you can see that the function has been successful because we have this alert called test. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Let's go back into the code. What we wanna do is we want to remove that class. Right now, I'm not using a toggle class. I am just going to use add class, but I'm going to remove that class as soon as the animation is done. So I'm going to say section one, so dot section one dot remove class, which we learned about in the last section. So we're going to call that jQuery function, and we're going to say, okay, what what class are we removing? Well, it's pretty much the same class right here, so I can just copy that, go in here and paste that. So let's go ahead and preview this again. So I'm going to hit refresh. So one thing I had to change. Let's go back into the code. One thing I changed, instead of just one, which basically only runs this function once, I changed this to on. Essentially, this will happen every single time that the animation completes. If it's just one, it will only happen once. So I want to make sure that this happens every single time, so I changed that to on. Let's go back into the browser here. Let's hit refresh. Let's clear my cache first of all, and then hit refresh. And then I'm going to click on animate section one, and you'll notice that the animation happens. If I right click here, go into inspect elements, you can see that section one does not have the animated bounce class. If I go ahead and close that out and then hit animate section one again, it does bounce. But if I go back in and click on inspect elements, you'll notice that it's not there. Because what happens, let's go ahead and see if we can kind of adjust my screen here to see if we can see the code real quick. And we'll have to keep track of this right here where it says section one. You'll notice that the class does get added, but then it gets removed. So let's click on that. 
There's the animated bounce. You can see that it was added and then it was removed. So that's how you can go in and you can remove the class. And so you really can get this true toggle format instead of having to click the button twice for it to run again. Every time I click on the animate section one, it will bounce. So that's how we go in and we trigger some code when an animation completes.